Hello, hello, I'm Michael Nathanson. Hey now, I'm Dan Nathanson with the Nathanson Brothers Real Estate Team, your South Florida real estate resource. Thanks for visiting our video blog. Today we're gonna to talk about which is more dangerous, using a lockbox or agent accompanied showings. So Michael, as the lead buyer partner on our team, you're out showing homes all the time. And when you're scheduling showings for Sally Smith and you have five homes that you wanna show her and you see that one of the homes require that you meet another agent at the home, how does that affect your plans for showing? Ugh, listen. <laughs> I have no idea how long people are gonna to take to look at homes. Some people are in and out in just a couple of minutes. Some people take 30 minutes to look at a home. And some take five minutes in some and 30 minutes in others. Yeah, it sounds kinda of difficult to plan for, right? Let me tell you, it is. If we have to meet an agent at a home, they usually ask for a 15 minute or maybe a 30 minute window to meet us there. If they're in the third or fourth place we're going to see, there's no way that I can estimate that accurately. It really puts a lot of stress on me to try to meet them there at the right time. I'd much rather show homes that have a lockbox. And how about when the other agent says, you know, I'm not available at 11 a.m., can you show it at four? So how does that work? You feel my pain, yeah. right? When I have an appointment to show homes, it's usually based on what's convenient for the buyers, yeah. right? If we're starting at 10, it's probably because they work in the afternoon or they have other appointments. Mm -hmm. It's not that easy to change everyone's entire schedule. Plus, we're trying to coordinate scheduling those other showings too. Yeah, it, it, it sounds nuts. And you know, as the listing partner on our team, I totally understand. I spend my mornings on the phone and on appointments working hard to find buyers for our listings. If I had to interrupt that to go show one of our listings, that would take at least two hours accounting for travel and waiting for the other agent. I mean, that's detrimental to our sellers. You know, it really is. And, and the statistics say that using a lockbox, sellers will get about 33% more showings than without using one. And based on what we talked about, I understand. You know, it really does make a difference when I'm trying to plan showings. Yeah. I've talked with lots of agents that won't even show a home that requires the listing agent to accompany unless there's nothing, and I mean nothing else for them to show. And even worse, in my 17 plus years experience, there's only one agent that I can remember that actually added substantial value while accompanying, uh, accompanying the showing. I agree, don't get me wrong, most other agents are nice enough. Mm -hmm. However, not only do they not really add value, they can even hurt their sellers. Yeah, listen, most sellers and, and frankly agents don't understand that buyers need to fall in love with the big picture of the home before they care about the details. So many agents and the sellers themselves talk way too much to the buyers and they just quickly move through the place, not opening cabinets or closets. Yeah. And on the way out, they say, by the way, you have a lovely you have home. a lovely home, right? And in the past when showing homes, I've had sellers agents even take me aside and say something like, listen, I know we're listed at 550,000, but the sellers, they're motivated. They'll take anything close to five. I mean, that's crazy, right? Nuts, right? It's like they don't understand that they have a fiduciary relationship to their clients. Yeah, so let's talk about lockboxes, right? Basically, there are two kinds, combination and electronic. So what do you recommend for our sellers? So we highly recommend these GE Super Electronic Key Safes or lockboxes. Why? Well, there are a few reasons. Using a lockbox allows easier access to the property. Is it safe though? The answer is it depends. Depends on what? It depends on which type of lockbox is used. So what do you mean? So these combination boxes, they're cheap. You can get them almost anywhere for, you know, maybe a 10 bucks. It feels solid enough though, why wouldn't it be safe? Listen, I'm not a betting man. However, I am pretty confident that I could get into at least 50% of combination lockboxes without getting the combination from the listing agent. Really, how's that? Yeah, see, listen, you see it all the time. The agents don't change the combination from the defaults that it came with when they bought it. And there's only like four default combinations? Yeah, I mean, listen, or if they do change it, they change it something that is completely obvious. So are the electronic key safes, are, are those more secure? Yeah, for sure, 100%. In order to be able to open it, you need to be an actively licensed agent in good standing with the Realtor Association. You need to have a specific app on your phone and you need to have a fob like this. Oh, awesome. So my only question, can't anyone download that app on their phone? Yeah, they can. However, the app doesn't work without the 30 digit pin that you have to get from the Realtor Association. Plus, you need another four digit pin anytime you want to access a box. We even go so far as to add a third layer of protection by requiring an additional seven digit code that we give to the agents who request shows. Yeah, listen. 
we take the security of our clients really seriously. Right? But can't people steal things if we're not there? Listen, they can steal things if we are there. If we're meeting another agent and a couple, one person goes one way, the other goes the other way, obviously we can't keep our eyes on both at the same time, right? Just can't do it. Uh, so how can the sellers protect themselves? That's a good question. And they're gonna be moving. So we always recommend that they start packing, especially small valuable items that could easily fit into a pocket or a purse. I mean, listen, we live in our homes one way and we market and sell them in another. So Dan, what's the moral of the story? Good question. Requiring agent accompanied showings can really extend your time on the market and possibly even cost you a sale because agents don't want the headache of having to coordinate meeting agents at homes. And if you mistakenly choose one of those agents that says things like, and this is the kitchen, or I know it's listed at X, but I know they'll take Y, and you require them to accompany all showings, listen, you could be costing yourself thousands and thousands of dollars. The right key safe properly used by the right agents allows more convenient access for showings, which means that you'll get more showings, a better chance of selling at a higher price, and it reduces your time on the market. I mean, listen, it's a no-brainer to me. Thanks for watching our video. Remember, we really want our videos and page to be a resource for all of your real estate needs. So if you'd like to know more about a specific topic, let us know, we'll make a video about it. If we pick your question to answer and make a video about it, we'll send you a $25 gift card as a small thank you. And if you or somebody you know is thinking about buying or selling a home, or if you have any questions about mortgages or anything real estate related or anything South Florida related, please call or email us today. Yes, please share this video and let us know how we can help you and the people you care about most get sold by the bros. Make it a great day and hit them with the hind. Peace and love. Bye Peace for now. Bye for now.